We invited Formac here to CCS because we wanted to help students kind of discover the potential of this machine. So there's vacuum forming, there's trimming, a lot of different departments use it including product design, transportation, automotive design, fashion, interior. There's a lot of potential uses for it, so we're happy to see students here at the workshop learning how to use it and discovering its potential. Uh, I was invited to CCS to participate in some training for our new 508FS machine uh, so I can get a little bit more familiar with the machine, uh, materials, different um, things that I can do to make my products better. Currently we are in a prototype lab at CCS and we discuss about the Formac vacuum technology and especially how we use it in our industry and we share that uh, experience with the students uh, and uh, other uh, colleagues of ours from the industry, automotive, defense, aerospace. It's extremely instrumental because we learn different uh, tricks of the trade and uh, how everybody is using that uh, Formic technology and the vacuum Formic uh, technology as a whole. My name is William Turner. I'm junior in C at CCS College for Creative Studies here in Detroit. This project was supposed to be a studio that was focused on water and I wanted to focus on the distillation of water. So in theory, the bottom reservoir would, would contain the kind of tap water which would be heated up by this electronic heater on the bottom. And as it, the water heats up, it distills and turns into steam and will travel to the second reservoir up here where it cools down and becomes liquid again and it becomes drinkable. I knew that we had a vacuum forming machine from Formac upstairs and I knew that we also had a five axis CNC machine upstairs too. So with the 3D data, I was able to make a female mold where uh, I basically made it in two parts. This top piece right here and this piece comes off this piece. This bottom piece as well was also vacuum formed. So this half came out of a mold that was milled out of the machine and the other half was made and milled out of uh, the machine. And it was heated acrylic, uh, so it was one eighth and it was able to pull in all of that material down. As you can see, it gets really deep in there, but it was able to do it. I had to drill in air holes in the foam, but uh, it turned out pretty well. The parts that were that are white here are 3D printed, so they all came together pretty nicely. The depths and the tolerances of the actual mold and the, the suction of the actual vacuum former was able to come together really nicely. Overall, the workshop went, I think, really well. We had a lot of actual hands-on demos, which was great with the actual machine, so we got some advice on webbing and using a base plate and things like that. And then we also went over a lot of material samples, and it's great to be able to touch and feel that. Yeah, we'll be looking to try some of the techniques um, and the state-of-the-art stuff we learned today. I'd like to try doing some 3D printed uh, female molds for the machine as well as trying to vacuum form foam and other types of TPE, it'll be really neat. So looking to use some of those kind of cutting edge stuff in the future.